It's been three years since country music's Big and Rich released a studio album, and their latest, Did It For The Party, was definitely worth the wait. Senior correspondent Arthur Cade went one-on-one -on -one with the duo. Heck are we doing on a couch? Let's go party, Big and Rich. No yeah, kidding. Yeah, that should be a bar in front of us at least. Congrats on the new album. You're bringing your vintage sound of upbeat country music back. What's everybody getting? We just tried to bring this this kind of the, the feel of what it's like in that live show. And then, you know, um, cover the whole landscape of what our, our lives are in all of the songs that we put together. She's in love. Is there anything like the live thrill of a concert? Is there anything like that experience for you guys? Jeez, that's other than Running down the street with your hair on fire and your underwear. It's as much fun as you can have, man. We hit the stage with a reckless abandon. By the time that thing's over, we're out of breath, ears ringing, soaking wet. I mean, it's a, the Big and Rich show is like a rock and roll show, and this record did it for the party, has those moments in it. I forgot you won Celebrity Apprentice, by the way. You don't do How that How can again. you forget that? Do you ever look at it and think, I knew that guy was going to end up being our president. I don't know anybody that would say that. Well, I did put in an official request to the Trump administration for a cabinet position. Yes. I want to be head the party coordinator. No, I want to be head of the liquor cabinet. I, I will be the uh, chief ambassador of entertainment. When you walk in, there's a guy in a cowboy hat. hat. Let's say it's Putin. He comes in. I go, "How you doing, sir? Vodka." Everybody, make sure to check out Big and Rich's brand new album in stores now.